All right, gang, Ben Dixon here with MLM Monday, episode 106. Super excited to connect uh, with each and every single one of you today. Today, we're talking about your action plan. This is something we connect on all the time. Actually, we're spending an hour uh, plus this morning with a publicly traded company out in Europe who's redoing the entire way they build direct sales around actions instead of reporting. This is something that we've been talking about for a long time, and it's exciting to see companies put this into action, pun intended. So let's just talk about the shift in the direct selling space, how we got here, why companies are shifting into an action-based culture versus a reporting-based culture, and then we'll talk about why, um, you know, what you can do to be a part of that. So you want to you want to think about it whether you're a direct sales person or whether you are a team that's running a corporate direct sales company, maybe you're an executive in a direct sales company, maybe you belong to our direct selling executives forum or any of these pieces. The key is that in any referral marketing business, you, you want to be able to take your tribe, your people, and move from the old school way today of looking at a report and hoping someone knows what to do to simply sharing the actions of what they should do. And so it's a, it's a mind leap. You know, anytime I run into a client who's saying, man, I want to create this referral opportunity that's just simple, just easy, you know, that people can just get all their hands on and can just do it. I said, well, that means we're going to do a bunch of work together because <laughs> if it's simple and easy for the member, it means we went and did the hard work to make it so it can be simple and easy for the member. So what are we talking about? Well, it all happened with the gig economy, right? There's companies like Uber, companies like Airbnb that make it really simple for people to make money. They just tell them the actions to do. Airbnb, take the pictures of what you want to rent out, right? How much money do you want for it? Perfect. They send you the customers. Do you want to rent a John? This is what people say about them. Yes, yes, yes. It's not a reporting-based culture. It's an action-based culture. Uber, are you ready to make money? Yes. Okay, is your car approved? Yes. Okay. Um, are you ready? Are you ready right now for customers? Yes. Okay. John wants you to pick him up. Are you going to go pick up John? Okay. I'll pick up John. Boom. Making money. So this action-based culture is very different than in referral marketing, direct sales, what we call reporting-based culture, right? How many of you have been to some training on a super Saturday where they said, you know, go view your downline tree. And if you see that Julia has no personal sales volume, you should probably give her a call and invite her to place a personal order, right? That's, that's very 2005, okay? You got to think about that right now. Most of the young people, most of the folks who've never done direct sales before that are getting involved in your opportunities, getting involved in your programs, are not walking through the training they need to know to be able to look at a report, to then know what action to do. So what I'm encouraging you to do is cut out the middle, right? If you're running a direct sales company today or a referral marketing company today, don't focus on reports and the reports so that you would know what actions to do focus on an actual the actual actions you would want people to do so what that means is how can you uh, gamify your virtual office or your mobile app and use tools like an action engine to be able to actually just tell people the actions to do based on the data Right, so I see you got a bunch of you here on the line today. Pam, Nancy, Eric, Aaron, good to see you guys. See a bunch more. Uh, Bob, Tina, good to have you here, gang. And as you're checking this out, this is an important thought because it's about the actions you want people to do instead of just them reading a report. I delved into this heavy over the last year and a half, literally head down, working through this problem to solve of how do we move even our own clients to an action based culture versus you know what they're used to in a reporting based culture and created a science actually called predictive actions and there's an entire guide a predictive action guide that i've created that walks through how to use an action engine to do exactly what we're talking about today so what are the things you think about for their training what are the triggers you should consider in your ecosystem whether someone's invited someone or someone's opened a link on a website or someone's filled out a form or someone's placed an order or become a customer a walk through everything in that guide. If you would like a tour uh, with our team to check out that guide at no cost and an actual discovery session to understand how to apply an action-based culture to your company, send me a message here on Facebook or if you're receiving the copy of this live in our email newsletter, reply back uh, to connect with us. We'd love to share that with you because the findings are remarkable. When you're able to move to an action-based culture, 
it gives you and your company a whole bunch of accountability and uh, resources that you haven't had before in the past because if you're actually tracking the actions people take, you'll actually know the answer to what did people do to get a new customer or to get a new member. And for the first time as a referral marketing company, you can actually have the insights into what your tribe's actually doing that's creating new customers and new members. So this is what's possible when you move to an action-based culture. And you're, you know, there is a massive trend internally in large direct sales companies today to apply this type of methodology to what they're creating. So that's my share for today for ML Monday. Wanted to let you know that you can plug in to an action-based culture and for free, uh, I can have some folks walk you through the guide that we've created we worked the last year and a half on that will walk you through what that looks like inside of your ecosystem. Want to ex- say thank you so much for checking out the show today. Wish each and every, every single one of you all the success in the world. We'll talk with you soon. Bye for now.